Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today we will make this cool energy shield effect in Unreal Engine Niagara. And we will make each and every element from scratch, all the materials, all the emitters. So this is like I have full control on this effect because each layer, each ring has different emitter with all the control. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So as you have seen thumbnail, that's why you clicked on this video. So this is my thumbnail. And basically, if you want to make this effect, there are two ways. One is just make a texture like this and use a single particle and put there. And another way is you can do that in material, this whole thing. And the third way is they actually make individual layers in the particle. So you will have more control, more depth to control uh, and that looks that will look the same and even better so let's do the third uh, method creating each thing so first thing i'll do is i'll take a new level This looks cool so now we can put our effect there so let's make the effect one by one each element first i want a ring so let me just ring and okay ring zero one because maybe i'll make multiple so what I'll do in this ring, uh, first thing, uh, let's preview in a planar and make this material translucent. Unlit, beside it. To make a ring, there are lots of ways. I have lots of tutorials covering that, but I will take quickly radial gradient. Then let me make this smaller. Then I will just take the sign and it's it will make it ring, but it will be sharp one sided blur one sided so i will make this two and then to control it i will use power and just connect it uh, the next but i want to add some noise details on that so what i can do i'll take a texture maybe i'll take this aura and this texture should also be like radial so what i'll do vector to radial and for the tiling, I'll just multiply it with two vector, or maybe I'll just take append vector so I can use dynamic parameter to control tiling x and y. Let me show you how it will look. So it will be like this. That same, if you want to remove that, just go here and make this my flavor. Now I will multiply it with this. Okay. And this power is the width. And I will use one power here and that will be dissolve. So this is Tx, tiling x, Ty, tiling y. Then this is width and then dissolve. Cool. So I have all the parameter I want. Particle color that will go here and this will be used for opacity. That's it. Cool, clear. Okay, so you can see how it's going. Let me just save it. And I will use it as a base of my whole effect. So if you'll notice in this 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 effect, uh, not the rings. If I zoom this effect which is behind I'm just making that so let me just make a quick Niagara take this NS or a shield then I just need one particle I'll take the minimal emitter it should spawn just once so I will make this self and loop behavior once I just need one particle so I will take the spawn burst 
one particle it should never die so in the particle state turn this off so you will have one particle that will never die then we can just browse this and use this here and then i'll take the dynamic parameter default setting one 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 and it's also one so now you can decrease the width and you can dissolve it and then you can control the tiling like this looks cool already look very cool so i'll just make this orange color i will little desaturate it and this is camera facing i have to lock it on one axis because uh, let me just show you if i just drag it here in the sequencer this effect is now here let me make it bigger turn this off maybe red that so it's bigger but if i just come out of the camera it's just facing the camera i want it to always here on the front of this character so in the sprite render i'll use custom alignment custom facing vector then i'll take this module align to mesh orientation by default it will lock it on one axis on this x axis if that fits you it's okay otherwise you can change so you can change it you can see it's it's different axis okay so i want y axis so i'll just use this here yeah. i was facing y axis i'll move it here now i want to scale it little bit on one axis so it's 200 i'll use non-uniform 200 200 and now i can change the x so it will be like that let me come to the camera and i think this look big so what i'll do first thing i'll use 200 150 maybe here to make it smaller little bit more bigger but I'll reduce the width maybe this much then we can increase the tiling and also increase the tiling on this axis yeah now I'll make it little bigger I'll let me close the materials so now it's, it's a little bit more big maybe 250 and 180 cool so you have this we can just go to the camera and make it a little bit like that. cool the next thing is i will add little panner in this so uh, because if you rotate it here now and because we have changed the axis change the the size it will not look good so you have to rotate it inside the material and to rotate it there you need to just add banner so what i'll do i'll just take the banner let me preview it and see which axis i want if i put it on x axis it's rotating let me also make it like 0.1 here so it will be a little bit uh, coming inside but minus 0.2 so it will come outside okay like that then i'll take that time and multiply it and connect it here i don't have empty dynamic parameters so i'll just duplicate this and both has the same name so i'll just change the parameter index to one and then reset these names and i'll just call it pan this will go here cool so if you're liking this hit subscribe so now i don't want the, that much of details so what i'll do i'll not dissolve it that much so it should be like this and panning speed may be little small a little slower 
and then I'll reduce the opacity also maybe 0 0.2 yeah looks fine to me then next thing I will add these type of edges you can uh, make these edges from this material also if you want let me show you so if I duplicate this first thing I'll do I'll make the shorting one so it will be always above let me isolate it let me make this one let me make it a little brighter to saturate it now in the dynamic parameter you can of course decrease this make it ring you can also dissolve it like this to make it look cool like this and everything's fine now I'll take the size here so I can just change size from one emit one one parameter how much I want and by scaling from the zero it should not happen if it's happening it's okay so it's 250 180 so what I'll do multiply 250 180 then I'll make this float now I can just change the size proportionally okay so this is this one bright one so I will make it little more thicker less dissolve maybe this much looks fine so by like this uh, now we uh, we need two more then with the gap two more so i'll just you can make it from one emitter but i'll just duplicating it and then i'll change the size here and make this thinner okay maybe size then copy paste make the size and then again copy again copy so this is the method doing things differently otherwise you can do it uh, with textures or you can do this whole thing in the material now you can see you have what you have so the next thing is uh, you have to add these text in between so in this gap we have to add the text so let me just also make this one a little closer yeah this one Now we have enough gap in between and also one more thing I'll do in the first layer I will maybe decrease increase the width it will cover it more now we just need the text in between and we will finish it so I have a texture this one although I have this texture which I can use directly but we are making separately all the things so I have this sub UV for the text and I have a material for this and you can see it's quite simple material nothing to do that I'll just use this it's 4 by 4 so what I'll do here let me duplicate this one more time in this one uh, and I'm not aligning it it should be camera facing it will work so you have this ring let me just change the material first it's 4 by 4 sub UV 4 by 4 and there should be an animation node I'll use the random and use the right render then I'll use the shape location let me use torus and we should have like 20 20 so these 20 particles aligning on that torus 
although you can change the size of dollars and all i'll make it zero like this and these are randomly distributing because in the shape it's random distribution you can make it direct and then connect here execution index i'll just turn this off so you have this now this is different axis first so we have to rotate it so in the rotation mode of your shape location use this and different axis y then we need to scale it down first i will scale down the size of my tags maybe this much then we will scale down the radius now we have to make the text even smaller now we will scale the radius even smaller like this so this is matching the height but for the width we need to scale it on x-axis here and this looks cool and because they are camera facing so it's giving that depth cool you can make these randomly uh, more bright so if i go direct or here you can make some really bright maybe five so some are bright some maybe less bright so there's variation in that cool one more thing i'll do in all these emitters because i'm using this panning speed so i will just randomize it like 0 0.2 0 0.5 and I'll just copy this in all so they don't look identical in the panning. Although this is one particle, so it will take randomly from 0.2 to 0.5 speed. I should have done this is in starting, but it's okay. So it's almost there. The last thing we need to just put these particles around and we will finish this. So I'll just copy this emitter one more time. What I'll do, I'll delete this, take the sprite render again. So it will come with the sprites, this texture. And let me make this even more brighter. Why is looking just one, if I isolate. Something weird. Oh sub uv yeah now it's working so i'll increase this width and i'll also randomize this which is 72 so i'll make it maybe 60 to 100 so it's randomly distributed now let's make the size of the particle random maybe 5 and 1.1 1 .1 and 3 we can increase it maybe 100 cool this is how you make you can add one light here just take the point light or direction light whatever you want make the same color So this is it. So this is how you make layer wise layer everything. And now as you know, I have all the control. Okay, let me just play it here. So my animation is playing. I stopped. Oh, just patch this. And that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.